guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is malifa Dramini. if you're new here and if you're coming back welcome and welcome back darling if you're new here there is absolutely nothing that will make me more happier than you subscribing to my channel so please do subscribe another day another vlog and as we've already seen from the title of this video this is a very interesting vlog it's a vision board picnic vlog i am hosting my second uh vision board picnic the first one was actually last year in guruman and this time around i'm having it in freiburg and i'm hosting my friends there's actually the four of us even last year there was the four of us uh, so i have managed to get four of my friends to come and do it with me um there's gonna be someone at the door oh it's my mom so i'm gonna take you guys along i hope that you guys do like this video and i uh, subscribe <laughs> what was it <laughs> anyway so one thing about my mom she will make sure that she ruins it for me but anyway i'm about to I'm about to finish uh, getting ready. I'm going to fix my hair and then pack all the things that I need. So we're going to do it at the park in Freiburg. And I've also already ordered a platter from Pick and Pay. Um, yeah, otherwise everything else seems to be going well. I'm also just waiting for my friends to confirm how far they are. Because the time is currently 12 eight past 12 i don't know how to show you guys this yeah but at least by one the latest by one i want us to have left so yeah let's just get started i hope that you guys do enjoy this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe I can't believe I believe So guys, I figured out that this video is really going to just be music um, throughout because we are barely saying anything but just having different conversations while we're busy doing our vision boards. And since I was planning on doing a sit down video towards the end of the video, I just thought why not do a voiceover. So if you remember the video that I shared at the beginning of the year, which was around 2023 goals review and goal setting, um, I said that the possibility of me doing a vision board this year were very minimal. And I had a, I, I, the past few days, I listened to um, a very amazing interview it wasn't an interview like a conversation um with 
conversation of Dr. Victoria's Faith and Luanda Duma on Instagram. It was an Instagram live actually. And that changed my perspective and I decided that I actually want to go ahead with the vision board. Because honestly, most most part of the reasons I didn't do the vision board last this I don't want to do the vision board this year is because I did not attain most of the things in the vision board. So you could say that I was really discouraged. So when I was listening to the conversation, like um something in me changed and I realized that you know what it is probably something i need to do you know it's probably exactly what i needed to do the conversation was around the vision and it was also based on habakkuk 2 verse 2 which obviously says write the vision down you know and what they talked about um during the conversation was that um vision boards are important for channeling the girl within yourself you know and what you do with it is what actually is important because it's one thing to put papers pictures and papers and see them every day but what do you do about it and i thought this is actually so profound you know because um the fact that you see the vision board every day it doesn't make it um doesn't mean you're going to achieve those things it's what you do every day every day that is going to channel that you know and that is going to bring those visions into fruition fruition fruit sorry about that that word <laughs> but you get it you know so yeah when i thought about it i just thought to myself that you know what um I am I I want to have all the things that I want. I want all the things in my vision board and I'm a visionary. Like I believe in seeing things as well and working towards them and it motivates me to see them, you know. And more than anything, um you need to realize that vision board is actually your prayer board, you know. You could put those things there but like don't just decorate pray over those things that you see every day uh try and do something a day that brings you closer or a step closer to attaining the things that you actually want and one thing i also learned from the conversation is that life can really be tough and it can be tough to a point that um you actually forget um things that you had wished you know you had you forgot important things you forgot your goals but when you have something that keeps you accountable that you can look at you can always remember like this is why i'm pushing every day i remember in 2022 when i was going through like something very difficult in my life um I had even forgotten that I'm actually a person that likes reading, that likes traveling, that once I had forgotten like I was just deep, I was sunk in the depression and in that moment and when I realized later in life I just thought to myself honestly um there's absolutely no need for me to be going through this you know had i had i looked into the vision that i had you know and kept focus i would have been able to get through that but i allowed myself to sunk in so one when life brings you down you will be having you will have a vision board to look at and it will keep you accountable and you will remember that there are more important things you know so yeah um i also learned quite a quite a lot of things you know and they were talking about um as a as a person you need to start betting on yourself you know and betting on yourself means um like waking up every day and actually feeling like you're the girl that you want to become you know and that will not only just um keep you like would change your mindset but it will also keep you accountable because i mean imagine if you picture yourself as as that girl but you're not doing anything to become that girl so it becomes an inspiration of some sort so yeah um i also liked about what i also liked about the conversation is um that it it has to entail the habit, the habits that you actually want 
um to to implement like in my current vision board i have really put like a 5 a.m routine exercise drinking water eating clean which is actually a routine that i really want to keep you know and these are like in order for me to attain the things that i want i need to have habits that um align with the goals that i actually have you know and yeah i also thought of it as like a point of reflection you know becoming honest with yourself and if you don't uh, achieve the things that you want it's also fine they also encourage that you stop start and continue you know if you feel like something is not working for you you're allowed to stop and if you feel like you want to wake up tomorrow like you see how they say that um starting goals or implementing goals doesn't have to start on a monday you know it doesn't have to start on the first of february or first of march whatever but it starts when you decide even if it's on a wednesday on the 29th of january like if you start just start you know and then if you see something that is working for you continue doing the same thing and also one thing about the vision board is that you will not be able to attain things on your vision board unless you're consistent unless you're disciplined and one of the best thing you can do for yourself is keep a community the reason i enjoy doing this with my friends is because these are like the people i can rely on this is like my best community um, I genuinely love being with my friends. They inspire me to become a better person. They inspire me to do well. And I know that when things don't go well, I can literally just reach out to them. So they also talked about importance of having community. We can literally keep each other accountable to also say that um, you said you were going to start a business at the beginning of the year. What are you doing about it? You know, and yeah. And the most important thing is also to do everything in excellence, you know. Um, This is something that I'm trying to do because one thing about me, (laughs) one thing about me, yo. So, yeah, and um, the other thing that they'd also talked about was seasons, that sometimes you are literally not in the season for those things. So, So, if this is your season you will know if this is your season of of sowing then do it diligently if this is your season of reaping then do it with grace as well you know because they're different seasons every time and what i do know is that whenever the season is there you will you need to have the discernment to know that um this is my season for sowing and for reaping you know um, but above all, I literally really enjoyed everything, you know, um, I enjoyed spending time with my friends and also realizing that I could actually dream big and I did and I put it on the vision. Yeah, so I genuinely enjoyed every moment of doing this vision board, um, with my friends. I hope that you guys also enjoyed. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Love and light.